Hello and welcome to my Unturned Survival Guide. In this series I will be playing Unturned and teaching you about the game along the way. Um, the last Unturned tutorial I did was how to choose and start a world. One thing I forgot to mention was that you can actually see on the map here the map size. So here Germany is large, PI is medium, Russia is large, Washington is medium, Yukon is medium, and that goes for all of these maps right here. You can see large, and if I downloaded any of these, it would also say the size. That's the thing I forgot to mention. In this series, we will be playing on the Germany map. I haven't played much on this map, so I don't know much about it. So let's get right into it and start learning. All right, we are in the unturned world, as we can see right here. The sun is rising. And we have some daylight before it gets night time. Nothing really bad happens at night time. It's just you can see a lot better in the day unless you find a flashlight or something. Um, before we continue and go up to this small town or something, whatever that is up here, let's cover let's cover our stats real quick. So if we just uh, future me zoom in on the stats down there at the left hand bottom left hand corner, we can see the top one, the heart is our health. The knife and fork is our food, the water drop is our water, the radiation zone or the green one is our immunity, the lightning bolt is our stamina, and the bubbles is our air. The air is only necessary to know about when you go diving. It is basically how long you can hold your breath. And yeah, there you go. That It slowly decreases and you're gonna slowly lose health once it reaches zero percent. So yeah, that's that. You can actually find um, diving gear, scuba mask, and also oxygen tank. It will help you uh, hold your breath for a lot longer. The sprint that goes down when you're running or when you jump, it takes a bit of your stamina, quite a bit when you jump actually, but that is just because we haven't even looked at our skills yet. So if we head into our, I press U on the keyboard to open up your skill menu, and this is where you're going to be spending your experience. The experience you get by killing zombies, chopping down wood, um, mining boulders for metal, etc. We will see more about that later, but you can increase your skills in different things. For example, cardioid, quicker stamina and oxygen regeneration, which is really cool. And also exercise, use less stamina and move faster. Or this diving, use less oxygen, swim faster and reduce scope sway. So that is really cool. By the way, that is another thing I forgot about with the air um, that decreases once you're under the water. You can hold steady a scope by holding a shift if you have a gun with a, for example, sniper scope. And it does take your breath away, which kind of makes sense because you're holding your breath. Um, we're going to cover... Uh, immunity, water, food, and health in a little bit once we actually find some food and such. Let's not waste the daytime anymore. Let's head on over here. Now, you do have to be careful once you uh, loot at towns and such because these locations do, in fact, have zombies in them. Um, and there are different types of zombies. There are walking zombies, and there's crawling zombies, and there's sprinters. And there's also some other types of zombies, flaming zombies, spitters, and invisible ones. We'll cover some of those in a second. Um, or as we see them. I do believe that this, yeah, this town seems kind of big for what we can see here. And I did just hear a zombie. Now you do have to be kind of quiet because they can't actually hear you walk around, jump, etc. So I recommend crouching around because uh, if you know there's one near and you don't want to get spotted because that makes you more quiet. Now before we continue, let's take Take a quick look at our inventory before we start looting. Press G on your keyboard and this will open up your inventory. And I hear a zombie to my left. That's scary. But in here, this is your inventory. So the more clothes you have, the more inventory space you're going to get. For the most part. If you have a shirt or trousers or a uh, vest, for example, that stuff will give you inventory space. Though a hat is not going to give you inventory space, obviously. But obvious things that would give you inventory space will give you inventory space. I have the thief top and thief bottom to begin with because I have the because I have the thief skill set um, from my first tutorial actually on how to customize your player. Now these slots down here is your two primary slots, primary and secondary. Um, this is where you will want to have your gun or your axe or any tool that you need 
to use in the actual world, except for stuff like bandages and food and such, you can just equip from your main inventory right here. But let's get a move on. A good thing to do also while looting is to press H because that will give you an outside view like this and you can use Q and E to move the camera left and right. And you can kind of use this to like look around corners and such. So that is actually pretty cool. And there we have a crawler right there. They're slow, but uh, in my experience, they can make you bleed a lot. And once you bleed, you're going to lose health slowly. And if your health gets down, well, goodbye you. All right, so I'm sneaking around a little bit here, but let us take care of a zombie. Now, the towns, uh, when it comes to looting, they're going to have a lot of different kinds of common loot. So, like, if you're going to find, like, duct tape, rope, uh, you'll find food, and... Yeah, a bunch of common loot. So you can find guns and melee weapons and such in here, especially if there's a, like a gun shop, it might have some guns, civilian guns. Here we have a zombie. Now a big quick thing to note before I kill this thing. Headshots matter or head hits matter. As you can see here, it indicates red. Um, if I punch the body of it, as you can see, the indicator turned white and... Uh, it does less damage. Also, if you use a melee weapon on the head, then uh, it's gonna stun them for a little bit. Here we have some grape juice that will replenish our thirst. One quick thing to note about food and water, if it's below 50%, it has a chance of uh, degrading or lowering your immunity. If your immunity gets lower than 50%, or if it gets to 50%, it will start dropping automatically. If it reaches zero, you're gonna lose health. Um, we are already missing quite a bunch of food and uh, first, so I think we should head into this grocery store to see what's up. Because even though food under 50% is bad, you can actually find pretty good food. Now these guys, a quick note again about the zombies. They walk faster than you, but you can outrun them. But if you don't run, then they're gonna catch up to you. So I like that strategy in the beginning, uh, walking backwards and running because you can run uh, while walking backwards. So that is a nice way of doing it and then punching them in the head. As you were noticing, I kind of tapped the sprint key um, to make it eas easier to not get too far away, but also to keep myself out of his range. So that is a pretty good strategy to use right there. But now let us take a look what's in here. By the way, if you find like vegetables, like this tomato, for example, and it's below 50%, still take it, I would say, because we can actually do some farming, which I will cover in a later uh, video. All right. And by the way, there are ways to heal your immunity. We will cover those once we actually stumble upon some medical supplies. Granola bar, it's under 50%. I'm not going to grab that. Um, though we might have to if we don't see anything else. I am going to grab the tomato and the carrots because we can turn that into seeds. Um, so far, I don't see anything too great. Um, and as you can see, there are these objects in the world that you can interact with by pressing, uh, in this case, F. It will show you what key it is. I don't remember if I unbinded it from its original key. Here we have some canned beef. That's under, over 50%, so that's pretty good. Uh, so let's take that. Also, to note, some food, uh, like the granola bar and the energy bar and the energy drink, will actually give you a little bit of stamina boost when you eat it or drink it. Um, so that is a nice feature to have as well and to keep in mind. These machines, sometimes you will stumble upon stuff that says missing power source. That is because we can actually get our hands in generators, which uses fuel to generate power. And then, well, it will basically just poop out uh, canned colas, which is pretty amazing. So if you made like the grocery or base, you would have free cola, I suppose. But uh, yeah, you'd still have zombies spawning. <laughs> so yeah, eh. But there are ways to deal with that. But that is more in the advanced topic. As you can see, this street lamp as well, missing power source. Let's take out this zombie right here. I want to be a little bit careful fighting these guys because uh, because if I start running and like three others hear it, it's a little bit bad. Can you see that one? Right there. And that one too, actually. There's the fire zombie and there's a spitter. 
So I'll be right here. I'm gonna smack out. I'm hurt. Ah, bad. Uh, binoculars. These are pretty good. This is an ex excellent example of a utility that does need to be equipped down here. In fact, you can't e equip it. Um, but let's take a look at our inventory again. As you can see, a bunch of stuff has been piled up here. And you can see by hovering what it is. If you right click, you will get um, a description of it. You will get the quality. And you can also set a hotkey for it. So if I want this food to have a hotkey, just like my uh, slots down here where I can just press 1 and 2, I can set a hotkey between 3 and 9. So if I wanted this to be 9, it says the 9 up there after I press the 9. And now I can just, in the world, tra la 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 la, now I need my canned beef, press 9 on the keyboard, and it even shows it down here. So that is a nice feature. Now I don't want this to have a hotkey, so I'm just going to move it like that. And it's just click, you don't need to drag it over. You Actually, you can't drag it over, you just need to click it once, left click, and then click it over. Some things are bigger, these things are pretty small, but some things are bigger like the binoculars. They take up two slots and the other, these take only up one slot. This base over here is nearby, that's stuff that's on the ground that you haven't picked up. But the binoculars, I'm gonna put these right here, then I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna press seven. Now, another note here, because these are binoculars, we can actually salvage these for metal scrap. Um, and we're gonna go a little bit into crafting in a minute once we actually find some clothes and stuff to make some medical supplies. Now, hopefully, this kitchen has a kitchen knife. Oh yeah. So this is a melee weapon and it automatically got equipped in my Sega slot right here and it automatically got uh, the hotkey too. So there you go, right there. That's gonna be very helpful, killing some zombies. All right, and we got some clothes here as well in the uh, stuff here. <laughs> and the t-shirt. I'm just gonna pick it all up. Ooh, flashlight. Yet another utility. This one can be equipped because it can be used as a weapon, um, but also because once I take it up, you use it to light with. It's not a, you can't have this together with your knife, for example, you gotta choose. And you can turn the light on and off by pressing B. And it will show as well on the little uh, thing right down here. That's very cool if we get stuck at night and don't have any other means of lighting our way. But I think that is pretty much it for this house, except another door over here. A backpack, yes. So as you can see, I just equipped this travel pack. It got equipped automatically. If there's something in your inventory you want to de-equip, like I just did with the backpack, just click here. Or you could just click on it, pick it up, and then smack it on your character like that. Or you can right-click it and then press equip so you have it in the world. And then you can just left-click and it will show that animation. Pretty cool. And it's going to give us a bunch of inventory space. I'm going to gather up some more clothes here and then we're going to take a quick look about how to craft. Um, and yeah, how that works. I'm gonna have my weapon out because there is zombie over here. As you can see, it heard me do that, so it came running after me. Ooh, a hammer. I'm gonna take that because we can make that into scrap metal. See a tomato. That's 100% tomato. Speaking of tomatoes, actually, some food will give you food and water, like tomatoes. So hey, buddy, you scared me. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And we got a pistol as well. Nice. Uh, Dequip that hammer, please, and let's equip the pistol and take a look at it. So once we equip it, you can see we have the crosshair, hold right click to aim. <laughs> and we, as you can see down here, we can see the ammo right here. We can see the weapon mode right here. And this T I will show you in a second. Um, the fight is the, the shooting mode. If you have like an assault rifle that can do fully automatic. So you just hold down the button and it shoots all 30 bullets in a line. Bang, 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 bang. Um, obviously this weapon can't do that, it's a revolver, it can only do one shot at a time, so one shot per click basically. Um, but you can also put it to safety mode where you can't shoot it. You can't aim it, you can't shoot it, but you still have it out, so that's pretty cool. If I hold down T, I get a menu for the gun, and now this gun isn't very advanced. Uh, the only thing we have available is the ammo and the barrel, so we can actually put a barrel on here. Um, we can find different barrels in the world, military barrels and ranger barrels. Speaking of military and ranger, if you don't know, weapons are categorized in different uh, types. So civilian, military and ranger. Now this weapon specifically uses civilian ammo. 
So by clicking that button that I just clicked right there, that empties out the current, uh, well, clip that we have right here and it puts it into my inventory. This way we can actually fill it up in our crafting. So let's actually take a look in our crafting here. Click on crafting or Y and hit into the bullets or the ammunition section. And as you can see, it will show you right here what you need to fill this up. Low caliber civilian ammunition box. So we need something like that or another ace clip that we can combine. And if I had it, I would just click craft. I'm going to head into appear, appear, apparel here and I'm going to click craft on these because this will turn the green t-shirt into one cloth and this is going to turn this orange parka into four cloth like that. Now I'm going to head into the supplies and as you can see the game will help you along so because I have a tomato it sure tells me hey tomatoes can be used to make a pizza though you do need dough, cheese and cooked beef to make this which is pretty cool. What is green you can actually craft. The rag I'm going to craft right now is a very basic healing item. It's not very good. It will stop the bleeding and it will heal you a little bit. But I would advise you to take the bandage instead, which is a tear up from the rag. Um, they don't heal broken bones and you can get broken bones if you fall from a too high of a distance. So be careful if you're climbing a tower or something, for example. But yeah, there you go. Uh, the bandage will heal, heal better than the rag. You can actually make a thing called a splint. So let's actually make that. I'm going to head into tools and I'm going to convert these two hammers into scrap metal. Now we have two scrap metal in our inventory right here and here. I'm going to head back into crafting and into supplies. And as you can see, we can now make the splint and that will heal a broken leg. So that is pretty cool. It should also be noted that if you do have food and health, both of those at 90% and up, your health will automatically regenerate. Now here we have a spitter zombie. It is a zombie that can shoot at a range. So yeah, you got to be a little bit careful about these guys. But most importantly, I would say be careful about the flamer dudes. We can't kill this guy with melee. The thing is, if we kill him, he's right over here. If we kill him, he's going to blow up in our face and we're going to most likely bleed. If it, if not guaranteed, we're going to bleed and it's going to be a very bad day for us. So yeah, we're not going to mess with him. We do have a gun, but it only has one bullet. I'm just going to press R and it will equip the clip that I just took out. We're going to hit the fire department because uh, hopefully they will have an axe. And if we can get an axe, we can then start building a base or chop down some trees and at least get a campfire for the night. So let's head into the fire department and hopefully they have some stuff. Here we have a crawler. They have a carrot in their cabinet. All right. I'm going to get over here and smack him a couple times in the head. He had a flare. All right. They light up a little bit in the night, but mo most importantly, they can be used to distract zombies. And here we have an ax and it's at 100% durability. Sweet. That's very, very good. It could be used. It can be used for a melee weapon as well, but I'm going to preserve it for the trees. Now, as you saw me just tear up the, the apparel in the crafting, you can also just do it simply from the inventory. Just right click and salvage. And now the fire bottoms, they get turned into metal, funny enough. So yeah, there is that. But we are actually going to use this flare because we want that fire zombie away from there. Maybe also the crawler if doable. So I'm going to right click and equip this and I'm gonna throw it over there. Probably a bad idea. Okay, I need to just get my distance from this zombie. And okay, that completely failed because I was running back and that didn't land anywhere near the zombie. Okay, we just have to be very sneaky. And if he comes after us, we just gotta run. Now the prisons in police departments um, might spawn some ranger stuff so that is pretty cool like machetes katanas some other stuff butterfly knife i don't think it, it maybe it won't spawn katanas i'm not too sure actually if it will but it is a ranger thing i believe so <gasps> we have the blunt force that is a very cool shotgun right here that i actually have a skin for as you can see we have two bullets with this thing that's pretty cool now this one if we hold t you can see we have both a spot for scope 
We have a spot for grip and we have a spot for tactical. We do not have a barrel attachment slot, but if we find sights, um, grips and tactical stuff, we can put it on this shotgun. 100% cheese, not bad. Do we have any civilian ammo? No, we do have the Cobra magazine, but we do not have the Cobra gun. So it's not really useful to us. We could take out the zombie now and I'm kind of, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to shoot him because uh, then you can hear how loud this thing actually is. Because if you shoot it and zombies hear it, they're going to come for you. But uh, we're going to shoot this guy in the face right there. Now you might be able to see why we don't want to get too close to this guy. Now these two heard it, so we're just going to take these guys out right here. Wait, this is a doctor. Ooh, that means there's a pharmacy around here. Sweet. We're gonna pick that up. All right. Oh, what's this? Open sewers. Okay, we're gonna head into the sewers another time because that's pretty scary down there because it gets pretty dark. So yeah, how about yeah? How how about we wait with that? Uh, <laughs> I'm not in the mood for scary sewers with zombies in them. I want to go to the practitioner and see what medical supplies we can find. Oh, what's this? We got an adrenaline shot. This is basically a thing you can take to quickly gain some stamina. You can hotkey it, so if you quickly run out of stamina, you can just hit your hotkey, inject it, and then use it. I'm just going to keep it right there, actually. Uh, actually, I'm going to... Rebind the binoculars back to seven and these guys so the adrenaline is gonna lose its hotkey and I'm gonna put it back to five. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Cough syrup that will heal you and also give you back some immunity. Um which by the way, because we were hit by a zombie, you can see our immunity is now down. So that is a thing to note. Do we have anyone in here? We got a secure kit that will heal you and it will stop bleeding but it won't it won't fix a broken leg now you can check these cash registers and get the money and unless you are on a multiplayer server doing some role play the only really thing you can use the money for to be honest is let me just convert all of this is to uh let me just see here uh, that is is to convert it into cloth so you can pick it up if you want or not, I'm not going to because that's a tedious process to get three of exactly that one. But we're going to head into the bank here just to see because I do believe if the vault is open, there may be some range of loot spawn in there. So let's take a look at what we got. Yep, the vault door is open. I'm going to pick up the rope and such that we find on the way. Hope no one's spawned in here. But here you can see we got a cantana. We got a range of muscle. We got a cobra sight. We got a seven times scope for a sniper, or a gun that we want to use for a sniper, and the katana. Personally, I really like the kitchen knife, but just because of it, just because we found it, I'm gonna use the katana. We can put on a cobra sight, and we can also put on the seven times scope if we really wanted to. Not recommended. But uh, as you can see, I just click on these, and it takes it from my inventory and onto the gun, and it puts off the original iron sights. I might keep this on just because it looks cool. Yeah, I think I might keep this. This looks fancy. Yeah, that, that looks kind of fancy. I'm going to keep that. Let me just quickly equip my uh, ace here. Okay, so we can have a barrel attachment, but the, the range of muscle does not fit on the revolver. So it's probably still a thing where not all guns can take all attachments from all categories. Or rather, not all guns can take all categories of attachments. Alright, so here we I just picked up some bottled water. Even though it's 10% only, we might find some purification tablets which will cure the water and basically make it safe to drink. I'm gonna kill this zombie right here. Oh, sorry. I meant to use my katana for this. Alright. Ooh, another ace clip. That's full as well. Let's quickly... Uh, do 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 Unequip this, equip our ace back. Let's just reload that bad boy so we at least have some bullets in it just in case we need to use it. That's pretty sweet. 
Nice, got some duct tape. We're gonna take the duffel bag. We already got a pretty good backpack, and I'm pretty sure the travel pack is a lot better than the duffel bag. Yeah, as you can see, it did drop a lot of stuff. Let's actually count it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by four. If we take this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by five. So yeah. Now this is a great opportunity to show you if you got a bunch of stuff on the ground, as you can see here. In my inventory, it shows up right here. Just hold control and just right click and it will pick up all this stuff and just throw it in your inventory automatically. Now it is getting dark and I do want to get out of this town before it gets dark just in case because there is a small chance that you will get a blood moon when it gets night and that is basically or rather a full moon I should say because at full moon the zombies get a little bit nastier they get red eyes they get stronger um, I'm pretty sure they will attack harder as well Ooh, an umbrella oh we're out of inventory space um, so yeah they basically just get more dangerous and I don't want to be around them uh, once they do get more dangerous. I'm gonna pick up the umbrella because that is actually another useful item. It basically uh, makes you not take fall damage if you float down. So let me just get up here and demonstrate. Now I'm on the fence and I drop down. This is normal falling speed, but if I equip the umbrella, as you can see, I fall a lot slower. So if you're in a plane or a helicopter uh, and need to get out or something while flying, then that is. Uh, I believe the only way to not take fall damage like that or for a way to have an umbrella like that. I really need to get all this cloth turned into rags and well bandage and dressings by the way can be used by making t two bandages into a dressing. The dressings are better than the bandages. Now a thing you might want to make, want to want to make, is a bedroll because the bedroll is where once you place it is where you will be able to set your spawn point. So you probably do want to make that. So I'm just going to make a bunch of these. And now I have two dressings on me and I'm going to hotkey these to three. And I'm going to take this up. And yeah, I think we should probably <gasps> blowtorch. That is so useful. That is needed for some repair jobs in our repair here. Um, some like for repairing guns and such. We need scrap metal and the blowtorch in our inventory to be able to repair certain things like the muscle as well. And here you can actually see how to purify the, the water with the purification tablets. Which, if you just eat the purification tablets just like that, uh, it will give you some, some immunity back as well. Let's kill this zombie. Smack. Ooh, this is the invisible one that turns, uh, that turns purple. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, no vehicles here, which is fine. I want to cover that in a separate video. I do believe that we will call this one quits for now. Oh, I picked up a hat and it automatically equipped. That is something if you find some clothes that you don't already have on, um, not new ones, but like if you don't have a hat on and you find a hat and you pick it up, it's going to be automatically equipped. Yeah, I think we should just get out of here. Now we do have a cow up there. So looting towns is not the only way of um, getting food. There's AI as well, such as cows, pigs, deers. Um, I think some maps have wolves and bears too. I don't know if Germany has this, but this right here is a cow and they might drop leather, uh, food and milk. So this could be pretty good. I'm gonna take my shotgun round. Gonna f get up to the cow here on the hill. I'm gonna, sorry cow. Oh man, only two leather. That was pretty much a waste of bullets. Sorry, cow. Oh well. Speaking of survival, we really need some food and water. I'm just gonna run over here to the top of this hill and we'll call it an episode. And we'll pick up right here in the next one. So what do we have? We have a carrot at 49%. We have some cheese at 100%. We got some beef as well. Let's take the beef first. Let's just eat it like that. So basically just equip it and then left click. I'm gonna redo that again. So right click, equip, and then you just eat the nom nom right there. And as you can see, the potato did give me some 
first bag as well. Let's not keep eating potatoes because they're pretty bad. I'm going to eat one just to show you my immunity go down. So watch this. As you can see, my immunity went down a bit. So that's bad. We're going to equip the cheese here. You can also, um, if I unequip it, press G and then control right click to equip it. And that's that. And we don't get a blood moon. That's good. That's very good. And what else do we got? We only have a water thing for 10%, but we do have an apple juice. Uh, let's equip the juice here. And give us some thirst as well, like that. We can also eat the chips. Do we have anything else that is above 50%? No, we do not. All right, we don't. That's unfortunate. But we are going to call it here, I think, because it's pretty lengthy. I'm going to cut some of it out. So hopefully it's not too lengthy, but we're going to call it here. In the next episode, we will be taking a little bit more look at the crafting. We will take a look at the skills, because so far we have survived. But we do need to take a look at our skills. Pressing Y here. Sorry, U. Um, we can see we have 50 experience, and we can put those out on some of our skills. But we'll do that in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and enable those notifications. And yeah, hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. The sun is going down, and we've got to get a move on. Hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.